her treatment was just awful. I don't, if you're young, you don't know this. If you weren't alive then, you don't know it. But the people that were alive then, you know what I'm saying, right? I'm not making this up. I'm not exaggerating it, am I? The knock on her was just, it was just awful. Last year I was um, shooting my a movie, Where to Invade Next, and we went to this country, um, Estonia. I wanted to go there because I was trying to show in different countries what they do better than us and what can we learn from them. And so I went to Estonia because there, but the World Health Organization says that you have the least chance as a woman dying in childbirth in Estonia than any other country on the planet. If you live in Cleveland, you have a three times greater chance of dying in childbirth than you do in, Cle than you do in Estonia. And so they took me to the maternity ward and they had the head doctor of the, the maternity ward. And uh, he's showing me around and he's telling me why they're so good at this. We're walking down this hallway and there's a picture on the wall. And I stopped him and I said, wait a minute, I know the person in that photo. <laughs> That's me and the doctor there in the hallway. And can we just punch in, punch in a little bit on this uh, here? It's Hillary Clinton shaking this guy's hand. I said, where, was it, where did this happen? He said, it happened right to where you're standing. <laughs> I said, oh my God, well, who's the guy? That is me, 20 years ago. I said, oh my God. So, okay, well, so what was she doing in Estonia? Well, don't you remember? She wanted you to have universal health care. So she was studying. She went around the world to study it. And she came to little Estonia for the same reason you're here tonight, to find out why so many more women survive childbirth here than in the United States. And I said, oh my God, wow, she came here? Yes. And then she went back, and you didn't listen to her. Instead, you humiliated her and attacked her. And you've gone 20 years now without universal health care. And we've had it. I said, um, I made this movie, Sicko. And while making the movie, I learned that according to the Congressional Budget Office, nearly 50,000 Americans die each year for one simple reason. They don't have health insurance or they don't have adequate health insurance. In other words, not because of the disease, not because of the germs in the hospital, but because they didn't have health insurance, they put off going to the doctor or they had crappy health insurance and the doctor couldn't send them to the specialist that he wanted to send them to, so they died. They died only because they were Americans. If they lived across the river from Detroit in Windsor, Canada, they'd be alive. But because they were American, they died. 50,000 a year. And I sat there and I started doing the math of this. Like 50, 20 years, 50,000 people dead. Holy shit. This is like a million people. That's a million of our fellow Americans dead because they didn't have health insurance. <laughs> if they'd been Canadian, or French, or Scottish, or Chilean, or just about anywhere else in the world, they would have lived. Every 9-11, we have somber vigils and memorials for the 3,000 Americans who died in that attack, as we should. 3,000. We, I still tear up over it. One of my producers was on the plane from Boston that went in the North, North Tower. We shed no tears for the million Americans who have died from that act of terrorism. One million dead Americans because we refused to listen to Hillary Clinton. Who are we? And what is terrorism? We don't think for one second about the one million dead Americans killed by a system run by greed. Greed of the insurance company. One million dead. One million dead. It's wrong. It's just wrong. One million of our fellow Americans. Where are the tears for them? 
Where are their names on the marble wall? I saw some of you standing. I know why the response to that, because we all know somebody, don't we? We all have a family member, a neighbor, somebody we went to school with, somebody at work, somebody down the street, somebody we heard about. They put off going to the doctor. Or they went, but they didn't have enough health insurance. And even with Obamacare, we still have almost 30 million with no health insurance. These are our fellow Americans. And yet Hillary was attacked. She was humiliated. You remember this when this happened? The people in Congress were like, get rid of her. She's not the president. Nobody elected you. And it went down to defeat. And it never got brought up again, did it? Until Obama started bringing it up. Never got brought up again. And they forced her to change into someone else. She was told to shut up. And she started baking the cookies and hosting the teas. I don't know. Something's wrong here. In a way, we have a chance to redeem ourselves, don't we, for this? It's possible. I don't know.